And let me make it easy for you. There wasn't a Tagut that ruled by man-made laws in the time of Ibn Abbas. There wasn't a Tagut that ruled by man-made laws in the time of Ibn Abbas. After the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam passed away, there was Abu Bakr, there was Omar, Uthman, Ali, Muawiyah and his son. Then the Islamic lands was ruled by Ibn Zubayr and Abdullah and Abdul Malik Ibn Marwan. So I asked the ones who lie against the Salaf and they claim they follow the Salaf. Who was the Taghut that Ibn Abbas was defending when he said that the Kufr that he did was Kufr doing a Kufr? It was minor Kufr. Was it Ali? Radiallahu anhu. Did Ali commit Kufr? Is that how low you go? To reject the truth because you want to worship your scholars and you want to sit down with people of desire or was it Ibn Zubayr or was it Abdul Malik Ibn Marwan it's very easy to label people Khawarij and Takfiri without looking into the mirror so tell me who is the one who makes Takfir on the Muslims and not just any Muslim but the Sahaba because according to your understanding there has to be someone a ruler in the time of the Salaf or a Sahabi that ruled by man-made laws for you to apply this rule and you'll never find it and this is something that you need to learn but no one wants to listen and no one wants to learn about the history of Islam for verily the history of of the Salaf brings clarity for the one who wants to know the truth. So the root problem for all the misguided views out there and the corrupt ideologies, it goes back to not understanding the Shahada correctly and not treading the path of the Salaf and being ignorant of how to apply principles when it comes to deriving rulings. For example, we can't use the statement of a Sahabi when it goes against the clear text of the Quran. 